It's about how we work as a team. And that's where I need to compliment the representatives for your area, your state senator and your state representative. They've done a fabulous job. Matt and Tom have represented your area very well. They're great representatives of the whole state of Michigan, and it's been teamwork. And to give you an idea, in these first six months, I've signed almost 130 bills into law. And that's only a little over 200 and some days. So it's roughly a new act almost every two days, or better than every two days. Now, more importantly than the quantity is the quality of the legislation we've worked on. There have been some major things. There's been some of it that's created a fair amount of controversy. Because I've asked people for some sacrifice, and I've talked about change. It's great. It's a human nature feature. Everyone likes change, and we all knew we needed a change. But when it shows up and we have to change, it's like, whoa, wait a second. Change was really good until you talked about me. Um, part of the thing we have to work through is that whole process of recognizing we're in this together. So some of the things we did were tax and budget reform. I'm very proud of the budget. If you look at the mess in Washington, arguing about debt ceiling, and you look at the history of Michigan's budget process, is the legislature, these hardworking gentlemen got a budget done in May, a tremendous achievement that had been done for decades. And better than the speed of the budget, it was a balanced budget. No accounting gimmicks, no one-time funds. And something else that we're only now hearing about in Washington is the fact there are liabilities we actually are responsible for and we need to make payments on. In that budget that was passed, we added dollars to the rainy day fund. You know what we had in the rainy day fund until then? We had enough money for 30 minutes. That's pretty short, folks. We also started making payments down on our long-term liabilities, our post-retiring medical obligations. And that's the philosophy we're going to go looking ahead, about being financially responsible, just like you are at home. Recognizing if you have bills, if you have credit card debt, you can't ignore it. You need to make payments. So the goal is to leave a better system than we walked into. And to build a system that we can leave to our kids to think about the long term. Tax reform. One of the great issues there is the need for job creation. I've mentioned that. The Michigan business tax was the dumbest tax in the United States. It was a job killer. Because many of you don't realize, for our small business people, the people that really create most jobs, they pay individual income tax just like you and I do. They put it on their individual return, it flows through, they pay payments there. In addition to that, they were being asked to pay a second tax that could more than double their tax liability. First, that's not fair. And secondly, that's not how you create jobs. So it needed to go away. And we've got them. Now, there are other things to do. Local government reform. We've passed a number of measures there. Matt mentioned tenure reform. Education reform is a huge message in April. Because we've got great teachers, we've got good administrators, but we have a broken system. When we did the analysis, we found 16% of our kids were college ready. 16%. There's been an update since then. More recent data came out. You know what the new number is? It went to 17%. So we made positive progress. But there's only one number that matters. When you talk about our kids being right, it's 100%. We've got a long way to go. So we need to get a system that wasn't so focused on money, but focused on the kids. Let's have a kid-centric education.